Nothing was the law forsaken parasites. I had become obsessed. My quest to stop them. To avenge my partner, Philip. And my ex-partner, Bernice. And Lieutenant Jurgen. And those two informants had brought me to Rizzo's distillery. But it wasn't just the triple distilled deliciousness of Rizzo's Spectrum brand vodka that I found there. It was death. I made sure the brain eaters paid the price. But at what cost to me? Communication coming in from one Administrator Ludovico. Get off the transmission, Cedric. We agreed to let me do the negotiating. Law be with you, friend. I am Administrator Ludovico of the famed Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. But there's no need to stand on formality. You may address me as Mr. Her death is the tragedy of our lifetime. As the face of our new product line, her murder is a stain on the Rizzo's brand. She was scheduled to unveil our newest product, Spectrum Brown, before this tragic event. All right, Ludovico, that's enough. You don't know what you're doing. Let me handle this. Captain Hawthorne, I've been looking forward to meeting Adjutant Akande's favorite gun. Cedric Kincannon, Sublight Underground. I'm so glad we're hiring a third-party investigator. No one wants to see a troop of UDL guards stomping all over my hotel. Least of all me. The murder of Halcyon Helen is a heinous assault on this colony. I look forward to watching you find the miscreant responsible and drag them out of the shadows. You're a compassionate person, Captain. And you're right. Halcyon Helen was a talented woman. She had a gift for transforming her art into wealth. You would not believe the money she made us on Dissident Busters. For law's sake, Cedric, could you show a little discretion and not bring up your contraband operations in front of an outsider? Ludovico, you wound me. I'm establishing rapport with our new contractor. Let's not give him the impression that you can't be trusted. Do you really want to do this right now, Cedric? You want to antagonize me while I'm negotiating? Yes, exactly. Thank you. Honest to law, how hard is it to hire a freelancer? Apologies, Mr. Ludovico. That was inappropriate of me. Captain, I'm Constable Maria Keen. Hiring a third-party investigator was my idea. I've been studying your dossier. You are Adjutant Akande's most reliable freelancer. If the second most powerful person in Halcyon can depend on you, then I'd like to think we can depend on you. As far as I'm concerned, you're the ideal inspector for this case. I'm pleased to hear that. The future of our complex may depend on your success. I'll leave you in the constable's care. Mr. Kincannon and I must have a word. Fine. But Rizzo's is paying for that hotel room. I can't tell you how grateful I am for your help. And even though they may not show their gratitude, I know Administrator Ludovico and Mr. Kincannon appreciate your involvement. Mr. Kincannon could lose his spaceport if board authorities took over the investigation. And if Rizzo's is forced to cancel its unveiling, we might never recover. How 
Helen was more than popular. She gave something to this colony that no product line could ever provide. Real happiness. No one has ever been as well known or as well loved. Transmission terminated. Captain, we are now cleared to land at the Eridanos Atmospheric Complex. Oh, wow. This is a job? Feels more like a vacation. Hello, hello, hello there. Hope your atmospheric entry wasn't too troublesome. As a guest of honor, you deserve the best in comfort. Sublight Salvage and Shipping Underground, or Slug, as we like to call ourselves, is delighted to welcome you to Eridanos. I'm the Grand Colonial Head Bellhop, I'm here to gra- I can try. I was the one who found Helen's body in the Grand Ballroom. Corpse wasn't in the best shape. Aside from that, I don't know a whole lot. Helen was supposed to host the unveiling for Rizzo's newest product, Spectrum Brown. Until you catch the killer, the unveiling's been indefinitely postponed. Helen's death has been a shock for many. A lot of people are inconsolable. Hell! Even Black Hole Birdie, Helen's bow has wandered off. Some folks think he had something to do with the murder, but I don't believe it. He did it. It's always the boyfriend. I still don't understand why anyone would have it in for Ms. Helen. Folks get heated when it comes to serials and their actors, I suppose. Of course. That is, I would love to. Unfortunately, it's currently still being prepared. Not to speak out of turn, but I think the idea was that- I'm glad to hear it! Was worried I had the wrong person for a moment. Anyway, I think I've held you up long enough. Once you're ready, head down to the lobby. The ballroom is just behind the elevators.
have had something in my ear. I could have sworn you just said. Greetings, Inspector. No need to check in here. Your paperwork has all been processed. Oh, my stars. This is the hotel? I only ever see in a place like this in periodicals. Or that one episode of Agent Khan. I've always wondered what that mascot's got in his hands. What? I'll bet you ten bits this is all just some sort of publicity stuff. Hello there, my inordinately esteemed guest. If my hello were any more earnest, this loudspeaker would explode! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry, but you don't seem to have a registered room key. If you've lost your key, why don't you pay the hotel concierge a visit? I'm sure she can get you a new one. Then you can come back, and I'll service all of your vertical needs. Welcome. Black Hole Birdie's disappeared, you know. That poor fellow must be inconsolable. Oh, thank the law. Inspector, you don't know how relieved I am to see you. Constable Maria Keane. It's good to meet you in person, Inspector. Dr. Goodnight. Ecstatic to make your various acquaintances and so on? Are we finished with the pleasantries? There's something I'm excited to show you. What body? Oh, that. Goodness, no. This is far more interesting than Halcyon Helen's rapidly cooling corpse. Our coroner has developed a device which may prove useful in your investigation. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Our office has instructed her to hand it over to you. Oh, please. You make it sound as if I'm turning over stolen goods. Behold, my discrepancy amplifier. Hold it in your hands. I work with the materials to which I have access. Halcyon has no shortage of rifles. The discrepancy amplifier uses a deterministic model of our universe to detect the discrepancy between what should be and what actually is. Then it renders any discrepancies visible by... Go on then. Give it a try. Just treat the amplifier as you would a weapon. Hold it good and steady and look down scope. I'm contractually prohibited from endorsing off-brand technology, but... I'll bend that rule just this once. You'll want to peer into the amplifier and examine the crime scene. The discrepancy amplifier is now operational. Greetings, designated inspector and or unauthorized larcenist. This unit has detected a discrepancy related to Halcyon. This footprint stands out from the normally spotless floor of the Grand Ballroom. 
Typically, the ballroom is cleaned twice daily, which means this must have been made. Footprint is a tailor made 8.75, suggesting that its owner was very particular about their shoe size. It is also the exact size that Halcyon Helen typically prefers. The dirt carries traces of fertilizer, as well as the faint signs of crushed purpleberries and grass. Grass, fertilizer, and purpleberries can all be found in the purpleberry. This deduction appears sound. Good work, Inspector. I had a feeling we'd make some progress once we brought you onto the case. You'll need Administrator Ludovico to grant you access to the orchards. Contact him through the secure access terminal in your penthouse suite. Check in with the concierge. Your room should be ready by now. If it isn't, I may have to go shake someone by the collar. I knew I should have gotten her autograph when I had the chance. Why is everybody staring? Didn't nobody teach him to respect the dead? Oh gosh, is that Miss Helen? Can we see? I'm sorry, sir, but while the hotel is an active crime scene, I regret to inform you that all new bookings, room upgrades, room downgrades, and in-room massages are suspended. Oh, you're the special inspector. Mr. Kincannon warned me you'd be checking in soon. Ah, yes. We are most pleased to offer you our grandest of grand accommodations, Inspector. The penthouse suite on our topmost floor is now available for you. The last guest left her belongings behind when she vacated unexpectedly, so we needed a little time to tidy the suite up for you. Simply call the elevator in the lobby and our highly skilled... It certainly is a marvel of modern ingenuity, luxury, and ambition. Please, allow me to answer any curiosities you might have about our building and the amenities on offer. Twice the size of the next biggest room, and kit it out with any amenity you want, as well as many that you won't. Best to enjoy it while you can, Inspector. Typically, the only people who can afford the penthouse suite have enough bits to suffocate everyone on Terra 2. Also, please inform me if we'll- Most certainly. All the important folks can be found in the utmost parts of the hotel. You can hardly walk three feet without bumping into a tossball grate or a board- Who would be interested in a staff-only area? Most folks never ask about the sewers beneath Arizzo's plant, either. Of interest to your investigation? Well, I suppose there is that one door we're not supposed to open. But I'm sorry, Inspector, I'm not authorized to grant you access to any staff sections of the hotel. You'll have to find a way in on your own. If you're sure. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby.
Inspector, I understand you've visited the scene of the crime. Halcyon Helen was an important cultural icon. She will be sorely missed. I will be plain with you. I'd prefer not having to hire you at all. This matter should be resolved by Rizzo's security. But Cedric owns the land complexes, so we have a jurisdiction problem. Constable Keene encouraged us to hire a third-party freelancer. I see. Well, I appreciate your... candor. Yes, let's go with that. Back to the matter at hand. Tell me about your investigation. Your discretion is appreciated. I admit, I'm beginning to feel more confident in this arrangement. Here, I'm granting you access through the gates to the orchards. You're officially authorized to see this investigation through to the end. There is one caveat. Cedric's being rather intransigent about letting you into the spaceport. You have a lead to chase. Anyone up for a game of sudden death knockout? Yeah, me neither. coming or going. And when I can't get a hold of anyone in the orchard, I can't make sure of that, can I?
Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The garb on this security guard identifies him as a member of the Rizzo's corporation. His rank would have been that of jawbreaker or higher. This security guard has experienced premature extra. Rest in peace, buddy. gotten into the spectrum in these crates. Listen to this. Come out! Come out to play! Wow! He's having a grand old time. I'm gonna take him to A2 under the hotel so he can sleep it off. I'll meet you back at the orchard straight after. See you soon. Evan, come on, you slackwit.
After Emerald Vale, Amber Heights, and Bayside Terrace, I was expecting Purple Berry Orchards to be a... Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. These footprints match the shoes previously analyzed in the Grand Ballroom. There is a 110... You find anything? Hurrying somewhere? Or being chased? Such lovely weather calls for a harvest, I do believe. Well, hell sweet hello there, valued visitor. I am sure sorry to break it to you, but our orchards are closed to all officially guided tours at this precise moment in time. You know, when your folks warn you your face will freeze like that, you aren't supposed to take it seriously. Why, thank you! Rizzo's encourages all workers to put on a happy face when engaging with valued customers. Rizzo's does beseech you to please purchase one of our self-guided options if you're wishing to join one of our rejuvenative, relaxing, reformatory tours. Now with a Puzzle Hedges trademark maze hunt and special edition taste testing for an extra 35 bits a ticket. What kind of investigation? You wouldn't happen to be from the health inspection office, would you? Oh, drat. This distresses me, and I do not like feeling cross. I warned the Orchardist this could happen when we halted our monthly bribe to slug. They were always a reliable go-between, uh, regarding inspections before now. So, what might you be looking to find out, Mr. Inspector? Oh, gosh golly, for a variety of services, mainly protection uh, from themselves, but they also served as employee motivators. Slug motivators intimidated our line workers into producing around the clock, and of course they kept the inspectors away. The overseeing orchardist had the last groundskeeper deliver a contract termination in the place of our regular payment. Rizzo's decided we don't need their services anymore. See, with our new morale-boosting medical treatments, our employees are much more productive. No need... Well, you are in luck. She passed right by here the other day. I thought she'd hired a private tour at first, but it was Dr. Blossom who was showing her the way to the RR and DD labs. Can't imagine why she'd need to meet with our head researcher on the Spectrum product line outside of her lab. That's right, she was. She sure made for some lovely adverts. Maybe it might have involved an issue with the launch batch then? I can't rightly say. All I know is one of our certified tour guides could have given her a much more comprehensive tour of the ground. Can't say that I have. We use bad batches of liquor for our pesticides. Only the exterminator mechanicals are armed around here. And I haven't seen any bloody objects aside from the usual pair of gardening shears. Unless, that is... Miss Helen was also stunned to death by pollinization mosquitoes. She wasn't, was she? That would be a mighty wretched way to go. Of course. I can't stop you from poking around, but do be mindful of our pollinization hive. Mosquitoes tend towards aggressive at the best of times. There's a reason why we keep them behind an electric fence, you know.
timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. What did that happen? Oh yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Oh. Oh. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. I heard about what happened to Helen. The Frizzles ran that hotel. We would have kept her safe.
power line discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen.
timeline discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. discrepancy detected nearby. Congratulations, Inspector. You've discovered more footprints belonging to the deceased actress known as Halcyon Helen. Timeline discrepancy detected nearby. The only members of a tossball team strong enough to crack a stick in two are the dedicated hackers, like Black Hole Birdie. Whatever Ms. Ruth Bellamy must have relayed to the tossball hacker during their picnic together instigated a furious increase in his usual strength threshold by 52%. Something went wrong here. I really hope it wasn't the food.
Hello? I can hear you out there. If you still possess the majority of your mental capacity, please locate the test room through the lobby and to the left. You'll see me through the glass. Poor fella had a family. How in the Aether did you get in here? You're not a Rizzo's authorized. Oh, void it all. What does it even matter now? What do you want? Speak up and quickly if you do know that Halcyon Helen is a fictional character portrayed by the late actress, Ruth Bellamy, yes? One can't be too sure with so many simpletons around in the day-to-day. -day. Regardless, I am not at liberty to divulge such information with non-employees or personnel lacking security clearance level Spectrum Orange. Of course, if you were to say, contract your services to me, I suppose I could grant you clearance enough to answer your murder-related questions, Mr. Inspector. You see, I've found myself in a bit of a pickle. Some of my lab techs have turned rather aggressive following a- Hmm, yes, I suppose I should make myself useful. Let me think. Huh, I know. I can remotely unlock the supply closets in the lower levels of the lab. Perhaps you'll find some useful apparatus or two in them. Excellent. You have my gratitude and soon you'll have my knowledge of Miss Bellamy's recent visit as well. Now, if you'd rather not kill my lab techs during this cleanup, I believe you can dispense a sedative gas from a terminal in the utility room. Better than cold-blooded murder. The door to the lower labs is sealed for our safety, so you'll need to take the elevator down. I'll unseal the access hallway for you now. Do take care. <laughs> 